Happy Easter, friends in Christ. Happy Easter in the name of Jesus, the risen one. When Jesus appeared among his friends after the resurrection, the first thing he did was to show them the wounds of his crucifixion. Here, he said to them, see my once nailed hands and feet. Look at my pierced side. The person who stood before his friends was no ghostly hologram of someone they once knew. This was Jesus himself, now alive. After three days in the tomb and now brimming with divine energy, Jesus did not hide the wounds of his death from his friends. Instead, he carried them with him into his resurrected life. Those transfigured wounds of Jesus matter to us, his friends today. His death was no fake, his resurrection no trick. So with his own body, once wounded in death, he now brings new possibilities to us all. Our way ahead with him does not mean a rejection of our past, but a transfiguration of it. In this way, Jesus is our hope of a new path ahead. On this Easter day, all of us are being invited to taste something of this joy of the resurrection, to look on Jesus' resurrected wounds and to see hope for ourselves and for our world. This is because our own wounds and sorrows, our griefs and struggles, our anguishes and angers have all been absorbed into the healed wounds of Jesus. Today begins my first sharing of the Easter season with you as your Archbishop. I've been looking forward to it because we have been walking through loss and grief in the church here in Melbourne. And we are so in need of the Lord who wants us to share in his Easter joy. Christ is alive and he wants us to be alive. The risen Lord who will never abandon his people is offering us the strength to set out on a new path with him. As shattered and as wounded as our local church can seem, the risen Lord in his gloriously wounded body is inviting us to share in his life and to walk with him. So today, with our wounds transfigured under the radiance of an Easter dawn, let us run with Mary Magdalene and with Peter the Apostle to greet our future with Christ. We run with hope in our hearts. We run to tell others this Easter news. And we run because Christ is showing us the way. So keep running because Christ is alive. He's running on ahead, but with us all the way to the end. Happy Easter.